Hey out there folks, it's been a little while since I used this channel for anything, but uh, I'm back, and uh, hopefully I won't leave you guys again for another two weeks getting back on the horse here. Anyways, what better way to do it than with No Man's Sky Beyond? Now I know I haven't been streaming this, but I've been playing this constantly for the past few days, like upwards of eight hours a day, so needless to say I really enjoyed this game. I've got 94 hours in it, so uh, what game is this? It's uh, it's called No Man's Sky. I think you might have heard of it. Somebody, somebody out there's probably heard of it, right? And um, I gotta say, I was a little trepidatious about this VR update. I didn't really know if they'd pull it off. I had high hopes, but uh, for the most part, they did a really goddamn good job. Hey, what's up, Kyle? I've been playing a bunch with Kyle and AJ the past few days. This stream is mostly going to be single player, I think, just because the only real crashes or bugs that I've run into are during multiplayer. Um, so maybe I'll save that for the end if I do any of it, but I don't want it to be a stream where you see it like crash and have bugs and stuff, because they're definitely still working out some kinks with the multiplayer. But I haven't had any issues in, uh, in single player. Oh, yeah, I mean, even on day one, I, I'm one of those people who didn't have super crazy expectations and wasn't like, these guys are liars, they're terrible, I hate them. Um, I thought it was a decent game at the time, just for just chilling, hanging out, just exploring. But they've added so much. Alright, so this is my base, which I've done quite a bit of work on. You can see my lovely solar panels beginning to spread open here, catching those rays. Takes quite a bit to power this giant thing. You can see this is only the first floor of it. If you look up in the sky there, there's another base. Maybe I'll go up there so I can jump off of it. But um, one thing I'm really excited about having figured out, they added all these new mechanics for the Beyond update. Besides just VR, it's not just, oh hey, it's the same game in VR. You've got um, farming and livestock raising that wasn't there before. I mean, farming was there, but this livestock stuff is really cool. So let's give these guys some bait. What do they want? They like enzyme fluid. So we throw some in there. All of a sudden, I'm taming creatures. They're happy. And then what we do is check this livestock unit, and they're filling it up with milk. Uh, my most exciting thing so far has been I made a chocolate cake last night. I actually made two chocolate cakes. It took me fucking forever to figure out how to do that. But uh, the frame rate is really good. The only problem, of course, people have said it's kind of blurry. Um, there is a pro patch on the way. And what a lot of journalists have said is that the, the preview build they tried on PSVR was pro-optimized. But they probably couldn't get that certified by Sody in time. So it's still coming, and I think it'll be a lot less blurry. But the frame rate is spot on. No issues at all. Um, you know, I don't have a million base pieces, but there's a, a decent amount. So you can see this is the first kind of upper level of the base. And uh, this was all with the help of Fallen Hedgehog, who's uh, Mr. Sonic, if you guys are on the Without Pearl Discord. He's a cool guy. And uh, Professor Lilith, who's also on that Discord. Oh god, I did it wrong! I did it wrong! This is the problem with these staircases. They don't have any guardrails. But needless to say, I could jump from much, much higher than that if I wanted to. And I might at some point. But uh, yeah, if there's anything you guys want me to, to check out or show off, or if you have any questions, totally feel free. Uh, one of my favorite things about this new update is using the move controllers to do stuff like mining. It just feels so intuitive and... Uh, it's just really a good feeling. So let's see what we got here. What's up, Justin? Juice? Thanks. All right, so we got the natural burial site over here. Now, if you guys haven't played No Man's Sky and you want cash, real quick, if you see a natural burial site, that's where you go. And uh, we could walk there. It's not too far, but actually, yeah, we'll walk. Oh, no, no, wait, wait. Got an exocraft. Oh, I have certainly. I've tried the... Uh, this exocraft, I've tried the submarine, and of course the ship is really cool. So you can see everything has been redesigned for VR. Um, there's some intuitive things here, like to get in and out, you kind of grab this thing and you just lift it up, and then you're outside, and to get in, you grab and you pull, and then you're in. These, as you can see, are, you know, tracking my hands as I grab on, and let's go for a ride. So yeah, all the vehicles are now fully first person, which was not the case before. And uh, they, for the most part, are really fun to ride around. I'm definitely looking forward to cooking up some uh, racing here. Actually, one of the things I'm going to do on the stream is get the parts you need to build a racetrack. Because that was my mission last night, and I didn't get around to it. Um, so that will be fun. 
All right, so we're near the burial site. You can see it's right over there. So we're going to pop out. Oh, look at all these bones. Oh, shit. Okay, guys. These bones are very lucrative. I've said it before. I'll say it again. If you want cash, get the bones. They're good for you. Lots of planets have these. And uh, you can get up to, like, 1.7 million for one bone. And you can see here I'm getting, like, six to eight in one thing. So this is a rare item. Probably worth a little more than the other ones. And I just love the way this feels and looks in VR when you're just sitting inside a cave and, like, hollowing it out. Yeah, this is... I started on this before the update, uh, and I probably had, like, 60 hours before the update, and I'm on a, almost at 100 now. Hey, what's up, the person? All right, so I'm out of inventory space, which happens to me constantly, because even though they changed the uh, requirements here for the inventory and made it a lot more relaxed as far as how much you can stack, there are so many new items that are used in, like, taming creatures and baking and all these new mechanics that I've got way too much crap in here anyways. So, what can we get rid of? What can we send back? You know what, for now I'm just going to shove a bunch of shit in the exocraft, and I'll get it later. Put it in the exocraft. Put it in the exocraft. Uh, PS4 Pro is going to get a, a patch. They, I think they've already said that. Yeah, the new stack sizes are great, as I was just saying there a second ago. Um, you used to be able to only store 250 of one item in a spot. Now you can store 10,000, which is bonkers. But if they hadn't done that, I can't see how you'd really be able to play it very well with all the new kind of items that they added. Um, your inventory gets kind of wild. So I'm just putting all this crap in my... Uh... Oh, what's up, Void? I was playing with Void last night, too. All right, so that's enough room for a few more bones. Let's keep digging. Come on, get me in there. Ooh, I burp, burp, burp. got kind of stuck there. Jeez, there are so many of these. I've never seen one with this many in one spot. Now, this might not look like much what I'm doing here, but this is how I've made my riches. So watch carefully, because, uh, see, you get yourself a finely preserved skeleton. And let's just take a peek at how much that bad boy is worth. Finely preserved skeleton. Only a million flat cold hard cash. Nothing wrong with that. Well, so here's what you're going to do. Now that they've uh, patched it up with the Beyond update, the whole tutorial at the beginning and everything is kind of redesigned. So you should probably just start a new save um, because there's going to be a lot to see and a lot that's different. Um, and if you're good, just familiarizing yourself with all the new mechanics, I think it would definitely be a good idea to just start fresh and, uh, you know, see what they got to teach you. Now, it's, when I get too close to these, it, oh, my inventory is full again. All right, well, that was a good haul anyways. Let's hop back up here, go back to base, and sell some of these bad boys. And then we'll go check out the Nexus, guys. I know everybody's curious about the Nexus. Oh, God, I'm stuck. Okay. I'll find my base here. Where's my base? Here we go. Well, so there is a decent amount of new stuff. The main thing that will throw you off if you have an existing save that really kind of messed me up for the first night was that they introduced power requirements, sorry, power requirements for everything. Um, and the initial generator they give you is just totally fucked. It's totally terrible. Um, you can throw like a thousand carbon in there and it runs your base for like 10 minutes, which is not good. Um, so it's kind of a, a resource hog. But once you start getting these solar panels and stuff, um, it's not too hard if you hook it up with the batteries and everything. It does sort of make your base like... There's like wires everywhere, <laughs> um, which I guess can be cool if you do it the right way, but not ideal for everybody's base that they already have. But if you're just starting out fresh right now, I would say it's okay, because as you build your base out at the beginning, you won't have this massive existing thing that you have to get all the power for. You'll be powering like two rooms, so it should be a lot easier for starting players. Anyways, we're going to sell some of these bones... You can see those little bubble features out there. I went to a bubble planet, and you can pick up the bubbles and bring them back. Put them anywhere you want. It's very cool. Hey, what's up, dude? You got any nanites for me? Sometimes this dude gets, hooks you up with some nanites. Fine-grained mineral analysis. Oh, I get all your data right here, bud. 
Ehu, a perfect travelogue. Please take these nanites. Ooh, what do we got? 80. Yeah, I'll take it. So these things I've got on my base are all nice to have. So, you know, I've got the terminal, I've got the uh, trade stuff here, I've got a portal and everything. But you're not going to have that at first. Um, you're going to have to rough it for a while. But that's part of the fun. You know, you have to learn the hard way how stuff gets done in this game. And uh, I just, I love it. I mean, I've played almost 100 hours and I'm not stopping anytime soon. Um, on top of what I put into the initial launch version, which was probably a few dozen hours, even when there wasn't anything to do, <laughs> honestly. So I just, I've always really liked No Man's Sky, and it just works in VR. So you can see I milked this guy recently with that machine over there. This is the milking machine, but he's so cute. I wish I could ride on him. Supposedly there are creatures you can ride. I've seen people do it, but I haven't been able to do it in VR yet, unfortunately. Anyways, let's hop in the ship. Let's go for a ride to the Space Anomaly, aka the Nexus, which is like a cool new thing that they added, and is uh, basically the multiplayer hub. Like I said, I'm not going to get into any multiplayer stuff at the moment, but uh, this is a big new thing that they added. So you can see also in VR you've got your throttle and stick virtually represented with the move controllers, although you can play with a DualShock 4, and at first you may want to. So, you get so sucked in. I'm, I'm not, like, this game makes you crazy. You want to just keep playing. Like, I have, I should be eating something right now, but I'm going to play this for, like, three or four hours, probably. Uh, so, let us summon the Space Anomaly right here. Is there a problem? Oh, planetary interference. We're too close to the planet. Let me get out of there. I will say the uh, ship controls can be a little fidgety in the on-foot controls with the moves until you get the hang of them, but really that only takes a couple hours, and you're going to be playing this for dozens of hours at least, so not a huge concern that there's a little bit of a learning curve. Oh, wait, 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 there we are. So this is our new space anomaly, which is really, really cool looking. And let's see if I can remember how to steer this fucking thing. I will say, full disclosure, I'm still kind of bad at steering the ships in VR with the moves. But I want to keep trying so I can get better at it. Uh, if I got into an intense gunfight, I might pick up my DualShock 4 just so I don't get my ass kicked. Alright, this is the new space anomaly, the Nexus, where everybody hangs out. Um, my frame rate always takes a little dip here, so that's just part of the deal, sorry. Uh, yep, yep. It's, uh, they're still working out the, the network stuff, so... Uh, this area can be a little dangerous in terms of, like, you don't want to be running and flying everywhere because the game is struggling a little bit to handle have a, having all these people in one spot. But, as you can see, there are real players with player icons who are just sitting over here uh, in this base with me. And if I chose to go on a mission, I can just happen in that place with them and invite them to come with me. But that's not what I'm going to do. I'm, gonna, I'm here to find some stuff to make a racetrack. Because we're going to try to make a racetrack. That's what my mission is for today. Hey, what's up, sir? One cool thing you can do in VR is you can hug people. Just be careful you don't clench your fist because you can kill them just as easily. I've done that a bunch of times. You can just lean in and hug. That is great. What's up, Lelian? See you later. I wish I could have a head like that. That's a weird head. It's like a catfish on top of a guy whose face got blown off from the bottom. Anyways, I'll see you later. Dude. But you can see, I mean, even with that initial slowdown right at the beginning, once I get back into the Nexus part here, or, you know, the, the vendors, I can just hop around. It's running pretty smooth uh, at this point. And we got a guy right here. Wait, 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 sir, sir, sir. Uh, wait, 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 sir. I'm trying to give you a hug. Sir. Wait, wait. Hey, 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 hey. I think all the flat screen players are like, why is this VR motherfucker chasing me around every time they see one of us? I just want to give you a hug, dude. All right, so I think... This is where I want to be. They also redid the whole blueprint upgrade system, which is so welcome. Because before you kind of got random order of upgrades, or you didn't really know what you were going to get. In this one, you get your salvage data, and then you can come in here and pick a tree and see what you're going to get as you go down. So um, let's see what we can make here. I know there's race, aha, race initiator. Bingo. Oh yeah. 
Okay, so we're, we're beginning the race parts here. Ah, shit. Well, I'm going to need a lot more salvage data, because we need to have jumps, and we need to have boost parts. Because what kind of race is this going to be if we don't have boosts and jumps? So we got the first piece here. We're going to have to get some salvage data, and I'll show you guys how to find that. In fact, we'd probably be able to find it on the planet I was just on, but, you know, we go for a little diversity here to try out something different. Jetpacking in VR is awesome. I love it. It feels really cool. Oh, wow. When people are in different languages, it says in that language that they're starting a mission. So Plasma Sonic uh, is in Spanish. It says, Está aviando una misione del Nexus. Or maybe that's Italian. I took Italian. I should know this. Anyways, onward. Sorry, I know I'm talking my head off here, but there's so much new stuff to, to say about what they've changed, and I'm just so still excited about this game. Um, I was just doing a recording with, with Brian and AJ from Without Parole that took us four hours, and like by the end of it, I was like, God, I really just want to play No Man's Sky, dude. All right, so this is Zebu Tau. We're not going to fuck around with that at the moment. We're going to go somewhere else. Get out of here. Scan that bad boy. Fungal mold. Hmm. A rotting moon. Yeah, not the biggest fan of a rotting moon. Selenium, copper, high sentinel activity. All right, we'll give it a shot. Maybe there's some buried data modules around here somewhere. Uh, I should take a moment to talk about the new menu system as well. This shit is so good. Um, earlier, you know, in flat screen, the menus could be a little fiddly. And I was thinking, shit, when they get to VR, this is going to be rough. You know, like Skyrim rough. Like, I don't want to fuck with these menus. But they've made it so intuitive, you just pop your hand up, you can go to inventory, and you got all your different things here, and you just click around. What the fuck? Whoa, no, 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 no. We're not running into that guy. All right, sorry about that. Okay, back on the way. So, yeah, as I was saying, you get your quick menu, which is cool. Recharge equipment, summon your stuff. Um, you know, I could scan for a trade outpost. Sweet. And uh, you can do a lot just from this little hand menu here. And I like this persistent display in front of you that's kind of transparent. Uh, they just did a really good job with the UI. Uh, much better than I expected them to. Now, I haven't heard any comments in a minute. Somebody just give me a test real quick. Is, are you guys still out there? Did my stream die or something? It looks all right. All right. We'll see if we got any very technology modules because that's what I'm here for. Okay, it's still working. Good, good. Oh, Skippy, what's up, dude? Awesome. All right, so let's pop a landing right here. Pop a squad on this planet. One thing. I know I've said this a million times, one thing, one more thing about this, why it's so cool, is that the scale of everything is just completely bonkers now. Like, these used to be plants that you'd go around shooting and you'd get in your ship and stuff, but this looks huge. I am, like, I'm an ant compared to some of these trees. And you get up close to them and it's just like, wow, I've never seen it like this before. Um, so even though it's blurry, that sense of scale is just kind of incredible. And when you get up close, I mean, like, this sort of stuff, I don't know, the grass sometimes just looks nice. And, you know, you're just walking around and enjoying exploring these cool environments. Anyways, let's find some very technology modules. And there's one right there. Not even that far. Oops, I got a different kind of scanner I forgot I had. Wait, where'd that thing go? No. It was right there. Okay, hold on. That's weird, that hasn't happened before. But uh, yeah, once again, if you guys have any questions, or if you're not that familiar with No Man's Sky, or if you haven't tried out the VR update yet, uh, let me know, and I will let you know 
But where in the world did all these very technology modules go? That's where I just found one. Alright, we're moving somewhere else. Where's my ship? Oh, wait. Hello. We're gonna go tame this crab, guys. Excuse me, sir. I think I've got some food for you. Let's see what he likes first. Alright, so he likes sweetened compost. Let's get this bad boy some sweetened compost. Hey, what's up, Nick? Thanks for your modding help the other day, by the way. You did a great job there. Um, okay, sweetened compost. I have... Fuck, I put it all in my exocraft. Son of a bitch. Alright, well, I can't feed this guy, but one of these days I'm going to feed him. Oh, he looks so rideable. Look at this guy. Oh, I want to ride this motherfucker so bad. I say that about almost every animal I see now, um, but I haven't successfully ridden one yet, and I'm still unclear on whether you can in VR. Uh, God Cannon said he could. Alright, we'll have to come back for him. We'll have to come back to that guy. I really wanted to feed him, but it's not in the cards today. Oh crap, and all that bait I left on my home planet in the Exocraft. Shit. Oh well. Well, I guess we'll have to go back there at some point. But for now, I'm looking for Barry Technology, because I got to get Daddy Needs a new racetrack, you know? And have some ramps and jumps and boost pads. One thing you can do just to test your VR legs is go like this and then go woo woo like that type of shit. Uh, not a problem. The move controllers are almost too responsive, and I feel like I can pull off shit with these that I could not with the DualShock 4 because they're, uh, you know, you can really fucking, you know, just pop a spin real easy without even meaning to. Uh, but when you mean to, it's pretty fun. So let's land over here and see if they got any technology modules in this place. Come on, technology modules, where in the hell did you go? B -b 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 -b. Okay, so I'm striking out here. I'm not finding what I want. Um, I see solar vine, I see cobalt, I see copper, cobalt. Yes, for some reason I'm not seeing what I want to see, which is other stuff. So I don't know if my scanner glitched out as far as the buried technology goes, because I was staring at one and it disappeared. But let's continue regardless. Let's get off this dumb planet. Might be fun to take a trip underwater. Uh, that's always kind of a cool thing. And the underwater sections look very, very cool in VR. So let's hop on our old space station here and see about teleporting somewhere. Or if I can figure out how to drive this thing. It's sometimes better to slow down before you start doing turns. There we go. Roughly. Whoa, 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 whoa! Fucking shit! Every time with this thing, it's right in the way. Okay, so what I meant to do was this. Oof, 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 oof. Yeah, you guys can see I'm still having trouble with the, the ship controls. Um, luckily, you don't have to hit this directly on the head. You can just kind of slide in there. Alright, well that was a bust as far as racing materials go, but... Skibby, absolutely they can. So, um, anybody who comes to my base and hangs out... I mean, combat isn't the strongest suit, and I don't think that they did a whole lot of uh, update you know, in that area. I don't think they changed a ton of the stuff as far as uh, the combat goes. That said, if you don't like it that much, you can sort of avoid it um, if you don't want to bother. 
because for me this is the kind of game where I get excited about you know I want to learn how to farm animals and turn those eggs and you know butter into something useful and you know I get a chocolate cake and it's kind of cool give it to some dude and he gives me nanites we're all good it's fun and like making a racetrack is what I'm excited about building a base if you want to focus on that kind of shit, you can just pay off the pirates and they just, like, leave and you don't have to fight them. So, you know, you can play it pretty much however you want. And what am I doing here? I don't think this is what I came here to do. Oh, no, I was going to teleport somewhere. Alright, so we were just at Valley of the Game Cats. That's my base. Let's see what else we got. Crossbone Alpha is not a bad one. I'm sad about Bone Casino. Since the update, all the bones disappeared from Bone Casino. That's very sad. All right, we'll go check out Dirty South. You were asking about other people's bases. This is God Cannon's base. I'm just going to go visit it because I've been there before and I've uh, like touched his base computer or teleported from there, so I can go back there whenever I want. And I can also build parts on his base while he's gone. Because if you set your permissions up a certain way, you can let friends add to it, even if you're not there, which is really cool. On launch day, these loading parts right here, where you're in the warp kind of thing, uh, were probably twice as long. But they've actually patched the game six times. We're on like 2.06 patch. Um, and it seems like they've killed the loading time quite a bit, especially on the initial startup and these teleport things. Because who wants to be staring at loading stuff in VR? Like, you know. Alright, so as you can see, this is an existing base that AJ made, and everything is unpowered. All the lights are off, this doesn't work. Oh, is there not a photo mode in VR? Interesting. I, you know, I didn't even think about that, but you're probably right. Yeah. I mean, this is the kind of game that, for me, I've played a bunch of flat screen and I've played a bunch of VR, and I think I will continue to go back and forth between those two, um, kind of as I see fit. Like, if I'm going to snack on something or just want to chill for a little bit, I'll probably throw it on flat screen, and then when I get really, you know, in the zone, I'm going to want to play it in VR. And the fact that it works very well either way is just great. Now one thing I wanted to mention here, again I was talking about the grass, I just really like the way some of the stuff looks on the ground floor, even though it's blurry off in the distance. Um, up close there's some real nuanced stuff. Okay, this guy likes scented herbs. Do I have any scented herbs? What do I have as far as bait? I just had fermented fruit on me, so we'll have to find a guy who likes that. Try this little guy down here. And he likes scented herbs too. Aha! This is what I came for. Now, these uh, technology modules were always useful in previous versions of No Man's Sky, but they've become supremely useful now because um, that's pretty much how you get all your blueprints and upgrades and stuff. Um, and just, you want to focus on grabbing those as much as you can. It does not support 3D rudder, but I can swim underwater. Now, this is the least exciting underwater environment, but we'll get to a good one later. What's up, Drew? How's it going? Hope you guys are having a good Saturday, by the way. I don't think I said that yet. Hope you're having a good one. Alright, so we got our technology module ready to be uncovered. Gimme, gimme, gimme. That was four of them, so I'm actually already on track to get one of those racing upgrades. Aim support would be cool, although I, I really like the way they've implemented it on the moves. Um, and I can't see aim support... I don't know, for the, the dogfighting, even though the moves aren't ideal, I don't know if the aim would be any better? You know? Oh, that guy's gonna kill me. NMS at midnight has been uh, my life for the past few days, actually. Before and after midnight. All night. 
so these are a lot of these are new too you can see there's like wheat uh sweet root uh star bramble these are all things that you can use in cooking um which is nice i like the cooking stuff i still don't know what the the real end goal of it is um, you know what you can do with the stuff besides trade it in for nanites but it's fun regardless and i'm sure i'll figure that out later all right so it looks like there's no more technology modules here but let's get some impulse beans this makes chocolate when you throw it in the nutrient processor and i'm ready to make myself some more chocolate cakes I love the flyovers. Like, sometimes you're just walking around, and one of these ships will just pass right over your head when you're not expecting it. And just that feeling of kind of looking up in awe as they fly over, it's it doesn't get old. And even with the blur, these colors, these landscapes... I mean, look at the way that, that distant planet with a spaceship flying past it. The clouds, all these beautiful colors. you got the rings of the planet off in the distance. It's just... I mean, look at this shit. Once the pro patch drops, uh, I'm gonna live in this game. I'm already gonna, but... Oh, time for some life support. Let's put that away. And is, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but this gun here, I can put, like, holster behind my back. Oh, I said... I said... Hold on. That's what I meant to do. <laughs> so I can just unholster it, and that's how that works. Wait. Yeah. Kyle was absolutely right about the bones. I think I started out the stream, actually, by pointing out that you should get bones, because that's a huge, lucrative thing to do. Um, and I just love bones. Also, I'm not even facing my TV at this point. And my tracking was getting all funky. That's why I couldn't grab the, uh, the gun and put it back the way I wanted it to. Now, you can see there there is pop-in, but the, the flat frame flat game already had pop-in, so I'm not too surprised that the VR game also has pop-in. Pretty much every VR game has pop-in, so what are you going to do, really? Alright, back to the ship. I get a good feeling about this blend as far as my technology modules go. Oh man, I love that cresting right above the clouds. I'm just getting a different view on stuff. Oh, thanks, yeah. No, I, I uh, spent a lot of time looking for a good fighter ship. This one's not an S-Class, but it is an A-Class, and I like the look of it. And I named it Star Silk, because that's one of the things you can get in this game that I was trying to find forever, and I just thought it sounded pretty badass. Star Silk. That's what you need for making uh, couches and sh chairs and shit. And once again, the scale of these ships is just unlike it was before completely. I mean, they feel so much bigger. It's really cool. Aha. Got him. Wait, got him. Yeah, I mean, you could probably get an S-Class fighter with 25 slots for under 25 million, but if you start getting into higher slots, like 35 slots or something like that, you're going to be paying out the ass. Ooh, on a fire planet, excellent. Ah! Oh yeah, that's always fun. Ooh, look at these guys. Oh, I wish you could ride these guys. Holy shit. Alright, let's scan them at least. One thing I love is that they made scanning these flying creatures so much easier. In the past, you could not scan that guy. He was too all over the place. Now you can. I want to go hang out with these guys. Oh, dude, get over here. Come on, get back here. If you're not going to hang out with me, I might have to see if I can kill you. Oh wait, I was going to refill my life support and I totally forgot. Totally forgot. Let's hide out in this little ditch for a second. 
who likes it where we need it. All right, back in business. Yeah, I mean, I'll definitely play with you guys later tonight, too. Um, I haven't been back to Firewall since the new uh, Dark Web update, so I'm curious to see the new map and everything, and uh, get in there and play with some of you guys. But mainly, I'm definitely going to be playing this a lot tonight as well. Yeah, no, I felt the same way. I had never made a storage container before VR, and then I was like, what? Five slots? What the fuck? Speaking of scanning, by the way, what I'm doing here, this is another cool, like, immersive thing, the same way I said you can just put this behind your back and then grab it when you need it, um, is that with the scanner, you just lift up your hand to the side of your face, the left side, and you tap, and it turns on the scanner, which is just really intuitive, and after a while you super get the hang of it, and it's a uh, it's fun way to scan stuff. Alright, so we, we might be okay on very technology at this point. Let me check how many we got. Uh, boo, 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 14, and I wanted 20, I think. So we're, we're... Oh, wait. No, 14 plus 7 is 21. That's enough. Yes. All right, so we can go get the racing stuff, and then we'll find a good planet to race on. Search the galaxy far and wide. Yeah, I'm feeling lazy. This is one of my favorite things to do in the game. You can just call your ship wherever the hell you want it and say, I don't feel like walking back. Why don't you just come land over here? And if you get the spot right, which I'm not doing... Come on. Sometimes a little finicky on where it wants to land. Inside the trees? Sure. It decided in the middle of the trees was the best place to land. And if you're going to break the trees on the way down, I can't say I blame you. One of my favorite new things that they added in this uh, update, as far as technology upgrades and stuff, is that you can uh, set your launch thrusters to automatically recharge while you're playing. So, um, you know, you can be off exploring, and when you come back, you don't have to put more fuel in the launch thruster. It's just, like, refilled from the atmosphere, which is very quality of life. Like, I love it. And uh, somebody just mentioned I love that you can get sucked into all these side things that you you know didn't really plan to be your main thing for the night. That's 100% the name of the game. Um, there's so many little things to do. It's hard to stay focused on one for long enough. Oh, you can totally jump into a game with us. And a lot of times what I'll say is if you're in that position, um, it's good because everyone is so willing to help. And like, it's fun to have a project where it's like, okay, this guy is just starting out and he might need some materials for his base. So let's all go help out and try and put this together like collectively and I'll have a little piece of building it. Um, so that's, you know, one of my favorite little things about multiplayer. Um, I don't want to stick around in this system anymore. I want to go somewhere else. First, what I need to do is call up the space anomaly. Go grab my race parts. Oh, oop, pull up. God, I'm so bad at fucking entering ships or doing anything precise with the, the move controllers. I know people have gotten the hang of it. I'm still working. Still working on it. But it does seem like you can uh, pretty easily just swap between the uh, DualShock 4 and the moves, like use the moves on the ground as soon as you get in the ship, pick up the DS4, and it's pretty seamless. So, not too bad. Now, on our way to get the... Uh, racing stuff. I want to talk to this guy. I like him. Because I can give him food, and then he critiques me on it. 
He sniffs at me with a derisory look, trying to detect the items I carry from scent alone. Would you like a crab apple, sir? I got this from feeding a crab. This guy hates my uh, hates my crab apple. Yeah, no problem. And I'll show you guys in a sec how the multiplayer works and you know how you set that up and uh, whatever. All right, so you you didn't like the first crab apple. Oh, see, you never know what he's gonna say because sometimes he says this. This is not crab apple. This is art. This is life. And he'll go on about how much he likes it. You get a bunch of nanites. It's kind of a crapshoot. Sometimes he's just like, yeah, I hate it. It's terrible. He did like my chocolate cake, so I'll gotta, gotta tell you that. What about some just straight up sugar? You seem like a sugar guy. I think I will just because, like, this is one of those games that I'm gonna be playing a lot anyways. And as I find out new stuff, or, you know, I have a cool base to show off, or just, like, learn more about it, it's fun to be able to hang out with you guys and also share what I know. Because this game is dense, and at the beginning you will be like, wow, I don't know how to do anything. And the feeling of, you know, figuring it all out is one of the, the greatest sensations in this game. When stuff clicks and you're like, oh, that's what that does. I get it. Um, or how the systems interact and stuff. It, it just... There's a lot to learn. And if I can help at all. You know. Um, you can't hop in and out of VR. So, no, uh, not not easily that I'm aware of. It pretty much, if you start up with the headset on and the um, the move controllers on, it'll just be in VR and there's no toggle. And I don't think there is a toggle in, in the game itself anywhere. So just real quick, I was talking over that, but I've just got my race parts. We've got a ramp, we got a starting line, we got a finish line, we got a boost pad. So that is what I came here for. Yeah, they add so much stuff. Absolutely, yeah. And, you know, to me, it just, I, I love their dedication and the way that they were able to take something that a lot of game studios, a lot of developers would have said, oh man, we really fucked up on that one. And, you know, go into turtle mode and hide and never improve it. But it's like, uh, it's so good at this point. Anyway, so these are all the bases. I think of everybody who's in my base right now online. Um, so the way this kind of works, I, I might have talked about it before, but you're out in the universe with all these other people, and you can run into them if you have ambient multiplayer turned on, just randomly. But as soon as you pop open the space anomaly, anyone else nearby who went to it is in there with you. So you can launch on missions together. You can go look at their bases, like if you want to. Um, so there's a, there's a lot to do with this new area here. And this is where you get almost all the parts that you need for like farming or say racing or any of the cool new mechanics that have been added. Um, you're going to go to the, the space anomaly, which I'll call the Nexus half the time probably. Alright, so I'm going to go back to Valley of the Gamecats to start my uh, racing, you know, setup here because I'm comfortable with this planet. I like it. All my good shit's here. But, oh, you know what I should have done? Okay, we're going to go land on the very tippy top, and we're going to take a free dive off the uh, the very, very highest point of the space. Uh, my first thought when I knew VR was coming was like, let's build something that's a thrill ride that you could just hop off and be like, holy shit, this is far. So uh, I'll share that off here real quick. Um... I think you can. I'll show you guys the options real quick, because you can get really granular with how you set up your game. Like, you can say, only this group of people, say, friends only, are able to add to my base, and nobody's able to delete from it. Or you can say, anybody can delete my base, and anybody can add to it. Um, it's as, as free as you want to make it, really. So that's, yeah, I keep saying I'll, I'll show you guys this, so I actually will now. So under options, you're going to go to network and voice. This is where all the relevant stuff is. So you'll see ambient multiplayer. Uh, this is if you see people out there in the world. So like if some random guy just came to the system, he would show up in my game with ambient multiplayer turned on. 
for performance. I will say sometimes it's it runs better if you turn off ambient multiplayer um, because they've had some issues with multiplayer crashing games and killing frame rates and stuff. But then there's all these other options here. You can see can join my game friends only. You can change that to anyone, invite only, all this kind of stuff. Um, voice chat enabled, disabled. Then this is the stuff I was talking about where um, you know these people can add base parts, delete base parts. So it doesn't look like you can make your base invisible to other people, but you can make it so no one can mess with it. So that's basically that. I did, yeah, so... Absolutely, yeah. Um, so the answer to that question is I did play a lot of it uh, prior to the announcement of VR. And I got to say, I was one of those people who, when people brought up, you know, is this going to come to VR? I would say, no, there's there's no way this is coming to VR. Like, th how could they possibly pull this off, especially on the OG PS4? And honestly, what you're seeing right here is not pro patched. So this is pretty much the same experience that someone on an OG is going to get. And the fact that it even runs at all is kind of insane to me. Um, so they've done an incredible job optimizing it. You know, they rebuilt the entire engine from the, the ground up using a new system just to be able to do this. And uh, it really is the promise of uh, No Man's Sky in VR. The graphics are blurry, but uh, the performance is typically good. <laughs> they did. They're... The reason you can't see all of this and it's fading in is because we're way up in the clouds. We are way up in the clouds right here. Um, this is, we are above where the starships fly. So if you see a starship circling somewhere, it's going to be below me off the side of this thing here. And technically I could go higher. I guess I could get on the very top of this. I've never tried this before and this is very dangerous. But we're going to try and get up to the very top of this thing and jump off. So this whole little compound up here, I gotta give huge props to Fallen Hedgehog, aka Mr. Sonic. He did great. And I'm gonna try and land as close to my base as I can. But from up here, I don't even know where the hell it is. Is it over there? No, I don't know. All right, guys, we're gonna get a running jump, and we're gonna save all the boosters for the bottom half, and we're going. Woo! All right. Make sure we miss that. Oh, jeez, wait. Oh, no. Fuck. Okay, I botched that one. I didn't see through the clouds that there was a platform. I want to do a full-on base dive. And we don't. I guess we don't have to get all the way up at the tippy top this time. This is always very treacherous, though, because if you go a little bit left or right, you're just going to fall off and not expecting to. We don't have guardrails up here. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and call this high enough. Oh look, he already set up some solar panels. I feel like you'd get really good sun up here because it's like above the clouds. Alright, we're going. Woo, there's my base, there's my base, there's my base. Now, we, I'm not seeing any clouds. I guess it's kind of clear where I decided to jump. I think I timed this and it's like a full 40 to 50 second drop if you don't use any boosters. And uh, if you're afraid of heights, I would not suggest doing it. <laughs> Most likely not a great idea. But um, I just want to find ways to create experiences like this. Like, people have made Rocket League. People have made, um, you know, various other games within a game or experiences within this experience. And, um, you know, with all the new updates, I think we're going to have a lot of fun cooking up cool little things like that. So, once again, thank you to all the effort from... Uh, Professor Lilith and Fallen Hedgehog who crafted that super duper ridiculously high up in the sky base. Um, and I think you could even go higher. I've heard you can make bases above the atmosphere. Like suborbital bases, they call them. Yeah, and we're just getting started. I mean, this is... The bottom part is mostly been me. Wait, what doesn't have power? Why don't you have power? Okay. Guys, I thought I figured this out. Oh, I added more storage containers, that's why. Anyways, it's hard to keep your ship powered all the way through the night if you're on solar power. 
probably need some more batteries, but we're getting there. Anyways, I'm going to go grab that shit from my exocraft that I left in there. I am in the Euclid Galaxy. I think so. Pretty sure. Alright, get over here, bud. You got some crap in you that I need. I guess I didn't have to get inside, but... I'm going to take back all the stuff from here. All right, that's good. Let's get out of this thing. Now, I don't know if this is the ideal racing vehicle or if we should come up with something different. But for our testing purposes, I think this ought to be okay. Now, where do we want to start the racetrack? That's my question. One thing I'll say is if you're just starting out, make sure you trick out your jetpack as much as you can. Because jetpacking around is highly fun, and you don't want to be running out of jetpack every few seconds. Yeah, it's really um, uh, way more intuitive than you would think it would be with so many things to do in the game. Yeah. It is. It is way better than Drive Club. I mean, this is ambitious in ways that Drive Club is not. It's just a racing game. Although, that said, I'm about to make a racing game inside of this. So we'll see how it compares to Drive Club once I've made a racetrack. <laughs> um, what, do we, what do we need to do to build this stuff? It is, yeah, you can build, like, endlessly. Now, I just got an invite, so let me take a look at that and see who's inviting me and what's going on there. One sec. <laughs> oh, Miles. Um, I've been playing a bunch with Miles, too, but I think uh, for this stream I'm probably going to do mostly solo, just because I've run into crashes and, and issues where, like, for instance, one of us can't interact with the environment, or we're in the same space but we can't see each other. Um, so there, there's just been some issues... Um, and I, I know that they'll fix those because they've already patched it six times since it came out the other day. Um, so I have no, you know, worry that they're not going to get to that stuff. But for the time being, uh, I would say the smoothest way to play is single player. Although it's totally fun and I've played a shitload of multiplayer and I just sort of got over the crashes and bugs and stuff because it's, it's fun. But if people are watching on the stream, you know, it's a different story. So I don't know what I need to make these racetracks. Like, what what are they under? Exocraft? Ah, yes. Well, I see those are under Exocraft, but where does the race start? Yeah, there are still occasional random crashes. Um, I would say more the issue is not necessarily a crash, but like... Uh, you just, something doesn't work the way you want it to. So, for instance, like I was just saying, um, oh, whoa, 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 I've never seen these guys before. Hold on, slow down. Oh, no, I killed him. Shit. Wait, where did this friend go? Those guys look really cool. Hello, fellas. Oh, God, that's his crater where his body was. Hey, guys, where are you? Ah, shit. Okay, well... I've never seen those little swimming guys on this planet. Anyways, let's make... What do I need to do to make the starting track? Specialist. No. Portable. No. Is it a terminal? No. Not farming. Okay, I think there's a way to figure this out. There is a, a... They redid the whole catalog here, and you can see how you make everything and what the deal is. So everything I've unlocked, as far as blueprints, should be here. 
to review. Unless it's a construction part. Ooh, viewing sphere. I need to get one of those. That sounds good. They've added a lot of customization stuff here, too. It's really cool. You can put, like, wall-mountable video screens, wall fans. Look at that. Fans in space. I love that. Floor mounts. Now, where the hell, though, is the... We're going to find this thing. Somewhere, we're going to find this thing. But not there. Curiosities? Gotta be missing something here. Ah, wait, race initiator. There it is. Pin it. Let's pin it. Metal plating, microprocessor, ion batteries. I can do all that shit. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I love it too. They, they did a great job on the way it's all set up now. Now, I just don't know, after going through all that, where the hell they decided to put the race initiator, like, in the actual build menu. Unless I've been staring right at it and I, I missed something. Oh, there it is now. Uh, so far, I haven't seen any brewing. Unfortunately, no brewing. Oh shit, I need to fucking get my frost shit. Refill recharged. I'm gonna freeze out here. I don't like that. Alright, so we're looking for ion batteries, metal plating, all this sort of basic stuff that I can build. Probably right out of my inventory without even farming anything. Okay, what do they want? Chromatic metal. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't consider uh, milk and brewing. Although I do like that you can turn animal shit and uh, frost crystals into bread. At some point along the way, it becomes like yeast and glass grains, and somehow glass grains become flour. I don't know how that works, but anyways, shit and glass make bread. Some things are not immediately apparent what you're supposed to do. But, uh, with enough fucking around. Also, there's tons of wikis on this online already, so even the new mechanics uh, that they've added, you're gonna see a wiki for it. Alright, so we need two microprocessors. I think I can make those two. <laughs> My bread is very intoxicating. It's made from poop. Ah, uh, chromatic metal. That's what we need. Shit. Well, am I sitting on any copper here? I guess we'll go back to the refiner and see what the deal is. Hey, little buddy. Which, what, what, is, what do you like again? Enzyme fluid? How come you guys don't come hang out by the base where all the feeders are? The feeders are over here. Yeah, honestly, um, I know a lot of people who've been playing this for a long time. Like, longer than I have, or at least as long in terms of like hours, like almost a hundred hours. And they haven't even dived into the, you know, the cooking and the power and all this other stuff. Um, so there's a lot to learn in this new update. Um, you're not going to hop in and overnight just be like, oh, I'm a cooking master. I know how to raise livestock. Um, it, it comes with time and there's still so much to do, even beyond what I've already learned. Like, I don't know how this racetrack is going to go. I don't even have the slightest idea I'm going to build this racetrack, but going to do it. Hey, what's up, Ryan? VR Grid? So, Ryan, I haven't caught any of your uh, coverage of this yet, but I'm going to go out on a limb and assume that you enjoy it. Is that right? You got to like this, right? Ah, shit, we don't have any carbon, do we? Or not carbon. We need, uh, what's that one? Copper to make chromatic metal. I'll check the old storage bins here. Kind of forget what I put in these things. Oh, 
awesome. Yeah, I'm glad you're liking it, man. I, I don't know how you couldn't. Um, it, like it's, I guess it's the kind of game that could bounce off of some people just because there is a lot going on here. But absolutely, this is um, you know up there with Skyrim, but probably more than Skyrim because it's essentially infinite. Whereas in Skyrim, you eventually could do everything. Uh, it's just impossible to think that you could ever see and do everything in this game. Yeah, Ryan, I'll check that out after I finish uh, streaming here. I probably won't be able to go super long, because I, I think I mentioned earlier I, I need to eat something <laughs> at some point today, and I've been kind of putting it off um, so I could get in and play this. So I'm just going to hope... Oh, I can just straight up buy microprocessors. I'm sitting here trying to make them like a fool. Now, if up front, when you first start, 38k is like a big deal. I don't know if you can see, I got $45 million, basically. So I'm not sweating over 38,000 by any means. Yeah, I mean, the fact that I'm scratching the surface, I feel like when I've played 100 hours, and a guy like um, Joystick Guru, who I've played with a bunch, that dude's played like 400 hours between flat screen and VR, and he's still finding out new shit. It's just, it's, it's wild. Alright, so I think I have everything I need to build the starting point for this little racetrack. Oh yeah. Alright, so where do we begin? I want to have a good kind of like place where you can park all the cars before you get going. Kind of a flat sort of entry point that's also visible from the base. So people know, you know, this is where the race starts. Um, or I guess we could build platforms. I don't know. Do we want to do just raw terrain or build a platform? I guess we'll just start with... Putting this right here. Oh shit, that looks cool. I like that a lot. Does it need power? What does this guy do? Hello? Oh, I'm inside of it. Is it supposed to be on the ground or something? Oh, I don't know what that does. Okay, it's the beginning of a racetrack, I guess. Uh, we'll give it some structure here. Um... Actually, we'll start with a bang. Let's get some fucking jump and boost pads going. Oh, it's a hydrogen jelly and metal plating. I should have looked at what I needed before I started building on the scrap. Shitload of metal plating and dihydrogen jelly, I think, will be our main things here. So that's all purchasable. I'm gonna save myself some trouble and just buy this thing. Hey, what's up, Edge? If you just got here, like Dej, I am trying to build a racetrack, and I've got all the blueprints, and now I just gotta get some materials and figure out what the fuck I'm doing here. So what we need is metal plating. I'm gonna buy... You know what? I'm gonna buy, like, every one they have. 60k. Small price to pay. Ah, shit. I forgot how much, I forgot how much space they take up. You can only stack five slots... It's so hard to focus, though, honestly. Like, once you get going, there's so many things to draw your attention into some new wrinkle of the game, some nook and cranny that you didn't explore before. Um, guys, I have way too much shit. I'm gonna be honest, I have way too much shit right now. Might be time for another storage unit. Alright, well, let's, I guess we'll just buy as many as we can hold for now. So that's 5, 10... 15, 20, and then we'll make room for whatever the other material I need is. Uh, I think it was... what was it? Oh, dihydrogen jelly. Ah, these fuckers aren't selling dihydrogen jelly. Okay, well, I'll have to figure that out. Buy at least 20 for now. I wonder what I've got in the way of dihydrogen myself. Dihydrogen... 155... I'll throw it in the 
refiner and see what that turns into. The hydrogen jelly, it'll only make five, but that's fine. I probably don't have much space in my inventory for it anyways. I think some of these have open slots, so I'm going to see what I can throw in the storage container here. Uh, did I get more nitrogen? Yeah, that can go. Did I get more phosphorus? One thing uh, that Brian mentioned to me that I kind of agree with is a lot of times when you're looking at stuff in the menu, um, it's cool to see this big description. You know, it's very readable and you get all the info, but it covers up the whole rest of the menu while you're doing that. So sometimes it's a little finicky. Okay, bread. All right, I think this one's about as full as it's going to be. Drop pod, carbon, pure ferrite. Do I need pure ferrite at the moment? I don't think so. Do I need carbon? Nah. Navigation data. I think I've got some of that shit sitting around. My cargo. Oh yeah, I mean, the fact that you could get this for like 25 bucks or cheaper. There is a little bit of aliasing at the edges um, when you're looking at text that in certain menus makes it a little tough. But I will say the menus are largely big enough that you can still see it. And even if it's a little blurry, you just hover over it and it's in big letters and you can see what you're looking at. So I haven't had too many issues. It isn't ideal. Of course, it is a little blurry, but... Uh, yeah, I haven't had any real problems with it. Alright, let's throw all our fermented fruit in here. Don't need that anytime soon. Do we have any pulpy roots? Do we have any steamed veggies? At this point I need like 20 storage containers, to be honest. Ooh, what happened to my enzyme fluid? This one add enzyme fluid. Okay, wild yeast. Uh, what's a big stack that I can get rid of? Cactus flesh. Who needs that? Oh, more dihydrogen. Yeah, thank you. So I realize this inventory stuff isn't the most exciting thing in the world, but it's in service of getting us a racetrack built, so bear with me. Oh man, everybody's giving you props. I gotta check out that uh, review. Oxygen filter. Oh, I can offload my milk too. I know where to put my milk. I know where to put my milk. Sounds weird. Oh, I can't put the milk in it. I gotta take the milk out. Well, that's a lot of milk though. Yeah, they do. It's it's kind of ridiculous. Um, I think that's one thing they could tweak as you move forward, because the way these used to work was, even though they only had five slots, these slots could stack a shitload of whatever material you wanted. But now that every inventory slot can hold up to basically 10,000 of a basic resource, um, it's, it's different. It's not as useful as it used to be. But if I didn't have them, I don't know what I would do with all this shit. So, you know, I can't live with them. Can't live without them. Storage containers. I think they probably will as time moves on. You know, they're going to keep patching this and seeing what the feedback is. All right, where did I put that? Ah, there's my starting line. Ooh, this is going to be fun racing at night, too. I wonder if that's too high up off the ground, because it looks like that's supposed to be, like, resting on something, but I guess we'll we'll figure out the logistics of this later. For now, let's build some jumps. Oh, I didn't get my, my jelly. Forgot to get my jelly. Sorry, guys. I am playing with the moves right now, yeah. You can see I got little hands here. Boop, 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 boop. One thing you have to be careful about is if you make a fist and you're playing multiplayer with people, you can accidentally kill them by punching them. I've done it twice. 
I didn't mean to, but you can. So be very careful with, when you're with your friends. Keep open hands and give hug. Give hug. No punches. All right. As soon as I get this dihydrogen jelly, I think we should be good to go. Oh, I love One Punch Man. I have become One Punch Man, I guess, in space now. Alright, we're gonna make two more. And we'll have seven dihydrogen jelly. Not the most in the world, but at least we'll have some boost pads and some jump pads. Hey, dude. Got any more nanites for me? There is. This guy is speaking the truth. There is still an infinity of wonder out there to discover and harvest. You don't want to ask this guy what he's studying because he's just a dick about it. He's like, ah, you wouldn't understand. He starts explaining and he's like, you're too dumb. I love these glass hallways, too. Anything that you can make glass in VR, you should probably make glass. Oh, really? I haven't run into that yet. Um, I think I was able to get to the decorations pretty easily every time. Oh, my hand has gone all over the place because I... <laughs> Sorry, I dropped the controller. There we go. Um, let me see about that real quick. Build menu, decorations. Now I just got to it real easy. Um, there's this bottom layer where you go tech, structures, or decoration. And it's tapped on us right there. Oh, that's actually... Ooh, that's a good idea. Boxing ring. Fuck yeah. Bare knuckle... No Man's Sky prize fights. Uh, you know, we could bet nanites on it or something. Or I guess you can't trade nanites. You could bet something valuable on it. Damn, this shit takes a while. I wonder if I have any more shit to make a battery with. Because it looks like I'm... That's true, although maybe you just gotta be real careful, real tactical, you know? Alright, so we're gonna build, if I can, while that's running over there, I wanna build a battery. I don't have enough condensed carbon or magnetized ferrite to do it. Can I build a solar panel? No, I can't. Alright, so I guess my shit was gonna remain unpowered for the time being. All right, we got our parts. Boost pad time. See ya. Now, if I get a, any decent portion of the way through this, I'm gonna want to, after I finish streaming and eat something, invite some people in here to race against me. Uh, Cause, you know, it's cool to try it out by myself, but until I actually get a real race in, I won't know for sure how fun it could be. Although I have a pretty good idea. Okay, so... Now, this is what I was wondering. Do you think it's better to build a platform on which to place these things, or just straight up... Space combat with the moves is hard. Um, honestly, I either... Here's my two options for space combat when I've got the moves. I either try to keep the DualShock 4 close enough that I can just grab it and switch to that, because my chances of surviving are definitely higher if I do it that way. Um, if I don't have it handy, what I do is I just pay off the pirates and run? Or just like get them to stop messing with me? <laughs> Alright, so I think I've put this too close to the starting point. That's like the second you start, you're already on a boost pad. Although, fuck it, why not? Start, start it strong. Now this is definitely going to be like a rough draft of a racing uh, course because I don't have all the materials to build anything super crazy at the moment, but in time, like all things, this will become a masterpiece. Alright, so let's see, we got this. Pretend I'm a car. And 
then, oh, I'll be going way too fast to catch either of those ramps at that point, I think. So let's kill one ramp. I think we could probably deal with just one and save some materials here. Any suggestions from the chat, too, on how to build an effective, exciting race course? Because uh, yeah, I've never done this before. It's my first time. I wonder if there's like a little side stuff that I can make. I can get rid of all my carbon so I can't build anything out of wood. Hmm. You know, I don't I don't know if any of the structures I have are really gonna help us too much at the moment. So that's fine. All right, we'll just stick with this. So we start out, we're going here, we got a little bit of a dip, and then as you come out of the dip, big jump over the ridge here. That's what I'm envisioning. You're gonna land in some trees, maybe. But that's just part of the race. Now, the one thing I'm a little worried about is I wanna make sure it, it doesn't sit above the ground, because if it sits above the ground, then we're gonna have issues. Uh, with actually getting onto the launch pad part of it, or where you jump. So, maybe somewhere like... Now, is that... I'm going to have to play test this, because I'm worried if you come up at this edge, do you fly off the side, or do you, do you successfully jump? Let's give it a, a brief test around here. Selling my exocraft. Also, I don't, really still don't know which the ideal vehicle would be for this. Although, maybe you can just bring your own vehicle, decide what you want to race with. Nope, 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 back up. Yeah, this is definitely going to take some tweaking to get just right. I don't think by the end of the stream I'll have a, a fully working race course, and I'll be surprised if I even get through this little part here without crashing, but let's go! Boop, boop, boop. Whoa! Okay, I'm terrible, I don't know how to race. Now, did that do anything? I wonder, when I crossed that, did that start anything on this little computer, or... I guess you must, you probably need to have a start and a finish line. The boost works, though. The jump works! Oh, okay! Not bad, not bad. All right, this is the start. The thing I didn't think about... Oh, oh, look! Oh, what is this? Oh, hey, okay. I didn't see this before. Well, I probably should have done this before I started building shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. What does this mean? Oh, does it want me to race? And then wherever I define, like, the beginning and end is the... Okay, press R to drop checkpoints. Oh, shit, you can drop checkpoints. What, what, what? Hold on. Okay, this is good. Now I'm getting the hang of this. Now it all works together. So this is our little intro, which I will fix later. Hop over the first jump here. And let's... Oh, wow, I'm so bad at controlling this thing. This might be a dual shock affair if we're really hardcore racing. Because um, sometimes the precision on the moves, you know, you can lose control a little bit. So move-only racing might be like the hard mode. But, so I'm, what am I pressing to drop a checkpoint? R square. R square. Oh, they're free. You can just keep making them. I like this. Then we're gonna take a left. We're gonna go this way. Oh, if I could, if I could keep this shit straight, it would be a lot easier. All right, so maybe second checkpoint is here. Oh, mm, interesting. Not exactly where I would have put it. Remove. There we go. Back up a little bit. Put this guy. It's a weird angle still. 
Oh, wow. That's that's a question. I like that question. Underground section of the race. Uh, I don't know if there's any caves. I could make a cave. Not that I totally trust it to still be there, because one thing, if you terrain manipulate a lot, you'll notice occasionally the terrain comes back. Like, inside my base, I've had issues where that kind of happened and I didn't love it. But I, I am really into that concept. Okay, so we got our first checkpoint. Wait, it already created it? Why'd you create it? I'm not done. Edit stage two. Ah, sweet. Okay. So we're going to go straight through here. This is treacherous because there's all kinds of bumps and rocks and shit, so that'll be a nice little wide open area. Got this guy here. Guys, actually, uh, as soon as I finish this stream and get some food in me, uh, Kyle, anybody else who has been playing with me lately or hasn't been playing with me lately and wants to dive in and help out, uh, I am so down for that. So, where do we go from here? I wish that I should have designed it around a specific kind of uh, land feature that was cool. But uh, this is my this is baby's first racetrack, so. Next checkpoint right here. Ooh, is this a cave? Hold on, guys. This looks like a cave. Oh, that cave is not nearly big enough for a race, I don't think. No, that's just a that's a cave where you're Oh, wait a sec though. Hold on. Is it is it big enough? Oh wow. No, it's not big enough. Wait, is it big enough? Oh, these things float on the water too? Fucking Okay, okay, wait. This could be part of the race. I don't know, what do you guys think? Can I put can I put checkpoints down here? This is fucking awesome. Oh my god. Okay, guys. Yo. I gotta say, I think at least up to this part, that could be part of the racetrack. Alright, we're going underground. And you, you you even end up going underwater. I can't control this thing. <laughs> I gotta tell you. Holy shit. Now, how to indicate... Ooh, that's sort of a problem. You can't really get up. Oh, yeah, you can. That cave part is really cool. Good call on that, guys. Um, I didn't think it would work, but... It's gonna be really tight with multiple people. I gotta say, we're gonna be playing bumper cars inside that cave, but... Uh, fuck it, bring it on, let's do it. So, I gotta indicate here that this is clearly the next spot. Um, I wish I could put arrows to kind of show you, like, this is where we're going. Jeez. Okay, next one. Right. Can you put them underground? This is what I'm wondering. You can put them underground, but that's not the direction I want it. It's going to be ridiculous. Okay, t turn, turn, turn. And checkpoint. Right. Uh, maybe? I mean, I guess that works. It doesn't seem to love... Okay, that's much better. That part is so cool. Another checkpoint right over here. I don't. I wish I could rearrange them slightly, but I think that'll count. You know, going through there. Oh, this part is. Oh, can you even get through there? Is this the same path I took last time? I can't even see where I put that. <laughs> uh, I guess it's not good to put a checkpoint in here because you won't be able to see it. Wow! 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 Okay, this is a good checkpoint spot. Where is it? Oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna make Rocket League for sure. Oh, there's a hole at the end. Oh, if I make this hole bigger, this is this could be the exit. Okay, we're gonna gonna crack this open a little bit here. 
Oh, wait, it won't let me get out of here. I think I'm like... Can I block off some sections of the cave? Uh, theoretically, I should be able to. Come on, let me out of here. Oh, guys, stop, stop. <laughs> it's okay. Let's let this come to a, a restful location. Am I stuck in there? Maybe until I finish editing, I can't get out of the pad or out of the car. Oh, oh boy. What do we do about that? I can't really make my own hole up here. I guess we can just have the finish line be right here, and then you get out, you walk out on foot, and you go. Um, so, where do I, how do I make... Maybe this is the final checkpoint? A little bit. Oh, jeez. Get me out of here. Do I have to go all the way back to get out? Or to, to keep making shit? Come on, get me out of there. Okay, well, let's let's just try going back to the beginning, um, and then maybe I'll, I'll come back down here on foot and place the finale of the race. Because I think you need to put a starting and an ending point. God, this is going to be ridiculous. Oh, is that, this is not the way that I went before, is it? Or is it? This, okay, we're going to have to tweak this quite a bit. It's a good idea. This cave needs to be expanded and widened out in some areas. And I need some clear indicators of, like, this is a left turn, this is a right turn, this is where you want to go. Well, so I guess the, the way to test that would be if I can get out right now. Yeah, I think when you're in, in racetrack editing mode, it doesn't want you to, to get out. Because it's like, no, you're in the middle of editing the racetrack, dude. Ah, oh, gotta get back. I got out of here last time. I think I can do it again. Just gotta build up some speed. No, not like that. <laughs> this is a shit show. So there's no backtracking in this race. Once you get in the cave, you can't. Can't get back out. Let me out of here. Yeah, there we go. Oof, okay, we're gonna go back to the starting point. Hopefully, this will count as something they would call a race track, even though I didn't put a finish line on it. I didn't get enough boost and jump pads in here, but once we switch to a cave, there's like no room to have boost pads and jump pads in that cave. Alright, so I'm gonna return here. Edit stage one. What? Edit stage one. Okay. Let's toss. Get out. We're gonna get out. Return to the pad. Okay, nope, 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 that's good for me. Oh, I, I really can't get out of here. As I'm trapped. I don't know what to do to finish editing. Oh, no, that, don't remove the checkpoint. You son of a bitch. So you're gonna come off this thing, say full speed, a little more boost than that probably. Then we want a checkpoint, right? Yeah. Edit stage three. Um, I don't believe so. I feel like people seeing this from the first time when we start racing are going to be like, what the fuck? I gotta go in here? Ah, oh, this is going to be so cool. Edit stage 7. Edit stage 8. Joystick, you got here at the right time, man. You're going to come help me finish this up later, right? Or build some other racetracks? Because I got all the blueprints. Maybe we can race. We can absolutely race in the caves. Outside the caves. Wait, is that? Oh, wow. 
Okay. I don't know. I gotta indicate that turn a lot better because it looks like a place you can't go, and <laughs> the game really makes you work for it. Uh, there's some rethinking to be done here, or some expanding of the caves. I need to figure out how the fuck to drive this thing. Okay, I made it. That's it. Can I get out and call it a... Okay, let's call it a... Let's call it a day. Let me out. I'd love to get out, guys. I'd love to get out. It's a weird feeling being trapped inside this... Inside a cave. Back up a little bit. Try again. Can I get, can I? I'm do trying everything here. I'm doing it while I'm moving. I'm shaking it everywhere. Let me out of there. Ooh, there's a jump button. I forgot about the jump button. Maybe that'll get us out of this, this predicament. Come on. Mm, mm, feels right. Feels right. I don't think this hole's big enough for me. Oh, oof, I can feel it. I can feel it. This is like giving birth, guys. Ow! Mm, get me out of here. Just a few more jumps. Yes! Oh, God. It's like that scene in Ace Ventura when he's coming out of the rhino's asshole. I think we're gonna make it. Oh, come on. Yes! Fucking beautiful sunlight. Oh, God, where did we start? Okay, guys. Can I get out now? I still can't get out. Oh, Jesus. Alright, so we're gonna go back to the pad. Wow, that's quite a, quite a journey. Oh, don't crash on me now. Now, I don't, I don't know if this whole thing where it won't let me out is because I'm kind of hot in the brightness, that's for sure. Oh, wow. You come out on not anywhere near the base when you get out of that. I think I'm going to run out of fuel. Maybe they'll let me out of here when I run out of fuel, you think? Fingers crossed that if we go back here and, I don't know, cross the finish line, do something or other, it will save what I've built and I can get out of this damn car. No, not edit stage one. We're done with all this. Oh no. Guys, I feel very trapped here. It says return to the pad. Let me, please let me out. I don't know if this is glitched. The thing that worries me quite a bit, actually, is that the game saves when you get in and out of your craft, right? And if I can't get out of this thing, that's a problem. That's a big problem. What are all the what are all the tricks you guys said to get out of this thing? Oh, good call, good call, good call. I like that. Recenter by holding start. Oh no, it didn't work. I really don't know if this is because No, I haven't placed the finish line, but it won't um it won't let me, it won't let me do that. 
because I'm inside and I don't have building options from inside here. I do need to call to delay. I think I broke everything. Come on. Shake it around. Let me out. <sighs> oh, so shit. I don't know if that did anything. That messed up my whole racetrack. What can one do in this situation? I really don't know of any way to save the game when I'm in here. Ooh, 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 I like this idea. Try DS4. Hey, you guys are having all kinds of good ideas out there. Uh, let's see if this helps at all. If I can get out of this thing with the DualShock 4. Okay. Okay, it's, it's recognizing some stuff. Wait, let's... Oh, yes! I'm out, I'm out. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. Thank you for that idea. Um, I don't know if that's what would be called, really, a racetrack at this point. I don't know if it's going to consider that a racetrack. Let's see if it says anything here. Okay. Alright. Good enough. You guys are very smart. Wow. That was scary. Me too. Especially after all that, like, exiting the cave stuff. I mean, I didn't even think I was going to get out of there. I thought I was going to die in that hole. Oh, I'm definitely going to save the game right now. Alright, where's my spaceship anyways? Oh, it's all the way up there, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like you had to be there, though, to see how uh, treacherous it was. All right, so we're going to get our ship over here. Now, one thing, if you're not super familiar with No Man's Sky and you want to make sure you're saving your progress, a really quick and easy way to make sure you saved your game is to hop in your ship and then pop back out of it. You can see restore points saved right up there. Alright, so that was quite a journey, but uh, we've got the basics of racing down. I think we've kind of figured it out, which is cool. Um, I, I think maybe a, a larger cave might work out better, but conceptually I'm so on board for going on the surface and then just like taking a hard left and going down into a cave, um, especially with like two or three of us in there. Racing will be very cool. But uh, yeah, I think that was, a, that was a lot for one day. You know, not for one day, for one session. Uh, I'm getting hungry, so I think I'm going to take a break here, guys, and uh, I'll be back on in a non-streaming capacity if anybody wants to hang out, come see the base, you know, help me build out the racetrack. Um, would love to have you guys. And, um, you know, if anybody's got questions about what to do, just drop a comment on this video or hit me up some way and I will help you if I can. Not... I don't think you have space... don't think there's space racing. Haven't seen anything with space racing. So yeah, once again, thank you guys for tuning in. This game is incredible. Incredible. I love it. Right. I can't let you do that, Dave. Um, but yeah, if you haven't picked this up yet, you gotta have it. Um, unless... This doesn't seem like your kind of thing, but it's so expansive. There's so much to do, and um, it's fun hanging out with you guys. So have a good rest of your day, and maybe I'll see you out there in the no man's skies. Boop. Later.